this is FreeZ Music. Alright, testing, testing, can you hear yourself? Alright, testing, testing, can you hear Yes, I can. It almost feels weird doing the test without music, but since I have the copyright stuff on in the video game, there's no game audio to compare my voice to! <laughs> oh wait, almost forgot, gotta take down the starting screen. There we go. What's up, Twitch? It's your Lauren Saver King, the Free Fire Free here. If you have another stream of WWE 2K23, once again, we have all these beautiful game modes here just waiting to be played. And while I was considering doing John Cena's showcase mode, I remembered showcase mode is kind of boring in creator mode because you can't hear any of the promos or any of the music. Or any of the showcase. So we're gonna do my GM this time, and we're gonna do it a little bit different than we did last year. I wanna just jump into the mode, but a scene might start up, so I'm gonna explain it now, then we can get started. Last year, how I did my rise was that we would switch main characters every week. It would be me, then Tetro. Male, then female. Male, female, male, female. We're not doing the female one this time, at least not yet. Because I need a new female main character. <laughs> I mean, I doubt Tetro actually gives a fuck. But he transitioned to a non-binary male. Modern day is fucking weird. Anyway... I really shouldn't be using Tetro as a female Surga anymore. And every other female creative character I've ever made was based on somebody, and I don't want to put people in my games without their permission. I mean, I technically have one person's permission, but they gave me permission to put them in a video game I make. This is technically different. So yeah, no female my rise, not until I think of a new character to make. For now, we're just going to stick to the male story. Cool? Cool. Welcome to my ro- <laughs> The silhouette's a female by default, huh? You know what? That's fine. Between lock, between the lock and the legendary my rise stories, you have 10 save slots available. Both the lock and the legendary have pivotal choices that send you down distinct pathways. Try playing each story multiple times to experience different outcomes. The Lock and the Legacy? What? This year, you can import characters created and create a superstar in my rise. To import a character, move over to an empty save slot and then push R1. Wait, what? Press R1 to select a car. Please note that this character's overall will not be imported. The Lock making headlines. We got some... Empty ones. The lock. I am so co What is the lock? Okay, let me just check something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I guess the lock is the name of the story? Alright, well, 
Let's actually go back because if I can import a car I made it in my normal mode into my rise, I'm gonna make my car in um creator wrestler. That way I don't have to create myself twice. But first let's get some music going because I don't imagine watching me create a wrestler in complete silence will be all the entertaining for you all. All right, so we got some grooves. Let's uh let's make me. I am in fact a male. I know my titties imply otherwise, but I am in fact a male. Custom Superstar. You can create the look and personality of a superstar in this mode. You can use your custom superstar in matches and share it with the world in community creations. Superstar creations mode can be important to my eyes. I am a powerhouse. Now, normally I would prefer to be a um showboat, but they don't have that style anymore, so powerhouse it is. No persona needed, thank you. Personas are good if you want like a quick make, but since I'm making myself and already have an idea of what I am, I'm better off going from scratch. My wrestling name is simply D. Actually, should I use the king gimmick? What would you guys prefer? Would you guys prefer the king gimmick? Or would you prefer the uh, generic goody two-shoes gimmick? Hello, how am I doing? Hello, hello, morale? Morale Smith? Hello, morale. I'm doing great. How are you? What are your thoughts on how I should create myself? Wait, do you think I should do my king gimmick? Which is exactly what it sounds like, a holier than Val royal that can either care about his people or look down on them? Or should I go for a generic do no wrong John Cena type? What, what, what are you feeling? I can't wait for an answer too long. I'm just gonna call myself King D for now. And if they say to make it a uh, generic do no wrong type, I'll switch the, uh, I'll take the king out later. Wait, what the hell? Nope. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. That's weird. Oh, I see something. I'm good too. That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> okay. I I'll just be King D for now, I guess. Oh, fuck. John Cena type. Okay. So no King gimmick this time around. This time, I am just going to be going by D. Although my social media account is still as it is in real life. King D 353. Yes, that is actually my social media handle. I forgot to mute that. Also, if anybody, if any of you try to talk to me and I don't respond immediately, I am not ignoring you. I have bad vision and you're to my side. So I cannot see what you say as soon as you say it. It'll take me time to notice the things you say. So, uh, yeah. Don't hate me if I don't notice your statement immediately. Is this my favorite video game? Um... I wouldn't say that. I've only just started playing this game. I do quite enjoy wrestling games. They are one of my favorite types of video games. But is this my favorite video game? No. No, it is not. You can randomize the Superstar's entire body within seconds. You can choose to randomize only a certain area such as entire parts, height, weight. Items that can be randomized are indicated with the random button in, in the help area. So what I'm hearing is, if I can't think of a female to make, I can just randomize her. Noted. I'll try not to do that, though. So, here's the thing I hate most about creating a character. I am not great at body morphing, so I'm just gonna look like everybody else because, um, I don't know how to do this shit. 
And I don't want to randomize my fake body because, um, then I won't look like me. I'll look like a random person. What I do know, though, is that I need to be fatter. There we go. I'm a heavy boy. Question is, how heavy am I? While I will admit I have a gut, I don't think I'm that bad. Uh... That's still flabby. I got some man titty. I got some paunch. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, my height. My real life height is 5'9. But for the sake of um, wrestling games, I go to 6'3. And we'll go with my real life body weight, which is somewhere in the 320s. We'll go 325. Oh! Am I a super- <laughs> Wow, WWE, way to make me feel like shit. I didn't realize I was a super heavyweight. Uh, where am I from? I'm from New York. Look at me doxing myself here. I would have said so in the game anyway. Really? I'm a super heavyweight? God damn. That's actually really depressing. I'm a super heavy- okay. I knew I was fat, but fuck, man. A super goddamn heavyweight. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I think I just ruined my fucking mood of that. <laughs> uh, alright. My usual attire is a... Sleeveless, short sleeve, long I like that they add all these options. Now my usual attire is a, uh, muscle shirt. That's usually red with a D on it. So let's go ahead and get my shirt. Hmm. Nope. That's closer, but it's not covering my stomach, which is in fact a problem. <laughs> uh, that one's too form-fitting. Sure, good enough. Have new words been said? You're also in Florida? I mean, you're in Florida? That's cool. I mean, I said I'm from New York. I never said where I currently am. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Says to be a bright ish red. Images. Actually, hmm, let's try to give a new type of D. Sure, we'll go with this D. And my D is usually blue. And so is the be on the shirt. I mean, what? <laughs> All right, we got my really cringe shirt done. I should really think of a better wrestling attire sometime. Bottoms. Oh, 
Oh wait, there's a tear in that. I don't like tear jeans. What do we got here? I mean, I do wear workout pants a lot in real life, but this isn't real life me, this is wrestler me. Got a button. Let's change the button gold because I want it to be gold. What is this? Yeah, you can stay brown, buddy. And those are more studs. So let's turn you gold as well. Are you new in Twitch? Um, no. I've been on Twitch for about... Well, technically I've been on Twitch for four years, but like, after the first few months of streaming, I stopped because I moved and no longer had good internet. But, um, I've been back on Twitch for about a year. Sadly, I'm not exactly the best at this. I'm still learning how to entertain people, how to keep talking for long periods of time, so... Is that a... That's a weird boot. So, um, short answer, no, I'm not new to Twitch. Long answer, I'm, I'm new to keeping smiles on your faces. Wait, why am I going for boots? I've never worn boots, I've always worn sneakers. I've been a sneakers kind of guy. I'm less of a, ah, I'm a wrestler, I'm gonna butt, strap up my boots and grapple you in the ground. I've always been more of a street fighter. A, A, we're gonna tussle. I'm gonna throw you on the ground and punch your lights in. <laughs> oh God, I'm making myself cringe. Yeah, I like that. I, I want my shoes a little bit shinier. I want my shoes shinier. I demand shinier shoes. I demand better looking shoes. Are, are these better looking shoes? Yo, my shoes look dirty to hell? Why does it look dirty there? Oh, is that the light I see going off them? Sure, satin shoes. I'll go for the satin shoes. I can accept this. Copy. Bring it over here. Actually, there is something I forgot to do. There's two somethings I forgot to do. First of all, let's go back to my, uh, D here. What font were you again? You were the Racing Stripe D. I still want to keep that. That does look a bit cooler. All right. That makes my shirt just look a little bit better. Let me see if I change the material make it look a little bit better too, because this, this looks so cheap. Can I make it look more impressive? This gives it more color. Cloth immediately gives it more color. Um... Oh god. It's a glittered shirt. Yeah, we'll just go with cloth. Makes it look like an actual shirt! 
All right, that's better. I also forgot I need to give myself a tattoo. Because I have a tattoo on my arm. So, um... It's on my right arm. My tattoo's a tad hard to... Wait, what? There we go, alright. So my tattoo's gonna be a tad hard to make, actually. My tattoo starts off simple. It's a D. Not that D. It's a uppercase D. I had to look at my tattoo for a second to get the... It's kind of a cursive D, but not really. Um, that's closer to the right D. The closest one's the D I have on my shirt and this D. I guess I'll go with this D. Well, whoops. Okay, it's on my upper sh- Okay. You need to be black. Because I could never get it colored in, even if I wanted to. And now we need to get another tattoo here. And, uh... I need to try to find a crown. <laughs> I need to try to find a crown to put on top of my D. Let's, uh, check the chat while I look for my crown here. Mm. By the way, just check your Twitch. You don't have any professional logos or emotes? Look, I'm letting you know right now, if you're here to sell me stuff, I'm going to ban you. No, I don't have professional emotes, and I'm not getting any until I start making money. I'm not interested in buying any. Please do not be here to sell me stuff. I am not in the mood. Uh, let's see. Crowns, crowns. Come on, give me something vaguely crown shaped. No, that won't work. Hmm. No. Can I swap their spaces? Nope. Fuck. <laughs> I'll just put the D over it. Letters. The D is back. I'm sorry, Blind, trying to learn how to use this, okay.
It's not perfect, but it's about the best I'm gonna get. <laughs> Maybe I can try to clean it up a bit more later, but... Maybe if I shrink the makeshift crown a bit? Wait, that's actually a bit better. Oh, and let's edit the color. Well, my real life one isn't colored, but it doesn't mean my fictional one can't be. We'll take the second color and we'll make it gold. Oh, that's the first color. No. First color's what I want. Wait, they both make it look goldish? What? All right, never mind. We're keeping it black. I thought we could make it look like black with a little gold trim in it, but no. So we'll leave it like that. That is my D with crown. Or at least my attempt at making my D with crown. You spend too much time in customized wrestler. When does the fighting start? Sadly, I kind of have to create a wrestler before I could fight because um, the mode I'm going into I'm playing, well, as myself. I'll try to speed it up. I'm sorry, I'll try to be faster. I could probably skip most of my, um... Creation of my moveset, just give myself my finishers and... Somebody else's moves and be done with. Alright, where's my shades? Oh, is there not one for just shades? All right, what do we got here? Sure, we'll go with the aviators. I tend to prefer not to get aviators, but since you guys are not enjoying the creation aspects, I'll just deal with it for now. I should probably also change my hair, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. I'll do it in my own time. I like to have an open street jacket on. A letterman jacket? Eh. How about you? These jackets are killing me by secondhand embarrassment. God damn. I mean, that is the kind of jacket I would have worn back in New York, but, uh, I want a wrestling jacket. Something that looks cool. No, remember, fans waiting. Rush. Rush faster. Black jacket. Metallic material to give it that cool shine. D on the back, because that's just my brand.
All right, my attire is done. Let's make sure it's saved. Yeah, it's saved. And set as default. Names done, custom images don't need to be done. Uh-huh, let's see. Not set individually, set all. Gotta be fast, gotta be fast. I normally do an arm cross. Wait, is the arm cross not here anymore? Fine, let's do this. Except the crowd, cheer, cheer. Personality, I'm super loyal. Loyal. Pretty perseverance. A bit respectful. A little prideful. Kinda bold. A little disciplined, except. Hometown, New York, New York. Actually, Brooklyn, New York. I always said New York, New York because it felt cooler, but... It looks like that person already left, so I'm going to stop speeding up now and try to get the shit I like again. So money, this is awesome. My hero. And let me see if I can find the King of Kings. If I can't find the King of Kings one, I'll just keep the one I currently have. Actually, I'm not doing the King gimmick, so you know what? These actually are fine. I'm not super American, but it's whatever. Side plates aren't needed, except... Performance. That's heelish as hell. This doesn't matter as much. I could change it later if I want to. So how it works now is that you get two paybacks. I would want resiliency and move theft. Nope. Yeah, resiliency and move theft. Arm power of 85. Kick power of 80. Grapple offense. I tend to have 90. Running offense, 80. Aerial offense. Actually, I do need to have that higher. I used to have that 60, but then I realized my new finisher is a fucking diving finisher. Okay, I just remembered. My leg power needs to be higher than my arm power because my signatures and finishers are also leg ones. More range. Power submission, 75. Technical submission. 
70. Strike reversals, 70. Grapple reversal. I normally have it 90, but because I'm fat. <laughs> 65. Durability. I'll say most of it's in my arms. Not my arms, my body. Then my... Okay, it can only go up to 70. 75. Actually, my legs are probably my weakest point, so I'll put that to 65. Power submission defense. I think I can block power submissions pretty decently. Technical, not so much. I'll keep that 70. That's as high as I can go, apparently. 90 for pin escapes. 70 for my strength. Stamina can only go up 65. Go that way for you guys. That's a bit much actually. 85. 95. Alright, what overall did I end up giving myself? A 94? I can accept that. Accept? Accept. Still some minor stuff I'd like to change, but I don't want to get too boring. So we'll try to do this a bit faster. Something went wrong? Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, you better not tell me that I lost all that. I'm gonna be real annoyed if I lost all of what I just created. Game. I don't appreciate your bullshit! Alright, well, we have to try to make me again. I need me for the created mode, I can't just not exist. My fat ass is apparently a super heavyweight. No persona. I can't believe that shit happened, man.
Where is my fake crown? It was after the Bret Hart hearts. There it is. Okay. Alright, uh, lower body. You know what? Forget the damn buttons. Don't matter. For some reason, denim doesn't exist. Whatever, it's close enough. Except. Shoes.
Make my shoes shinier! I demand the prettiest of shoes! Copy over to here. All right, I actually want to save here before anything else can fuck up. Because we lost all of our stuff before. I don't want to lose everything again. We want to we, we want to save in like patches. We got to save in patches cuz this game can't be trusted. Stam game has already fucking up. All right, back to the attire. Let's make my entrance attire now. I still need to be aware of everyone else's entertainment, so... I'll just choose these shades quickly again. It's so whatever, sometimes you just... Gotta make minor sacrifices, that was the wrong thing. Honestly, the blue havers don't even look that bad. Upper body, jackets. Oh god, I have to speed to the jacket. God damn it. Is this my jacket? No. This, um... Was it you? You're closer. Sure, that'll do. Okay. Black. Metallic. I know this is actually different from my original jacket, but I can't waste too much time on this. Okay, I got my shades, got my jacket. Let's save again before it does something stupid.
I guess next time I should create my character before I stream. Eh, I should stop focusing on that. Not everyone's gonna like everything I do. All right, I actually finished my character this time. Cool, cool. I have been created. I'll leave my entrance alone for now. Let's work on my move set. As quickly as humanly possible. I swear to God, I'll go as fast as I can. We'll immediately go for the important stuff, like my signatures and finisher. Do they all have that long wind-up?
Okay. On the holistic kick in the player's boot, different moves? No. I wonder if Pierce's arrow is. No, it's not referring to Adam Pierce. Okay. Oh. Uh oh. My, my screen's frozen up. Sorry, guys. Give me a moment. Wow, yeah, using that. Reading that's really bad for my eyes, oh my god. Guys wondering what I'm talking about? I was using the um capture software for a second. Yeah, no, it's a really tiny screen. I remember now why I have a separate window for this. Give me a second to get my primary window back up, I'm sorry. Okay, my ringside finishers will be my choke slam again. <laughs> and a super kick. And my finishers. Do they have my correct DDT? Let's see. Because if they don't have the correct one, I'll do the 1916 again like I did last time. So random fun fact, that DET specifically, its uh, movement is kind of similar to a fro in, um, yeah, don't have it, alright, in judo. Nineteen-sixteen. And my primary finisher, where are you? Need top rope versus... Standing. Dive versus standing. 
The Diving Famouser, also known as Execution. Along the outside of the ring, my finishers are the 1916. And the Sharpshooter. I actually used to have the Sharpshooter as one of my signature moves. But I've ultimately decided to stop having it as a signature move for some reason. Don't ask me why. I, I forgot why. And I don't really need to have a backup finisher, but in case it's like, Oh, you can't lift up this person. Well, give me a super kick. Alright, I want to do more stuff, but I'll stop here. Actually, am I allowed to springboard? You know what? No, 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 no. We'll stop here. I know people want me to f actually fight, so we'll stop here. I have what I need. We can do the rest of this stuff. I'll do the rest of the stuff on my own time. Let's, um, let's get to the actual fighting. Does mean I'll have to go for my move set twice, but it's whatever, it's fine. Wait, what? Okay. We're here. R1 to export. Confirm. Why am I starting over? I thought the point was that I can... Excuse me? Did I do something wrong? Ah, that's how. Okay. Alright, there's some door. Just chilling there. Oh, it's opening. Okay. Something's happening. The lock coming to Raw. Oh, is that supposed to be my wrestler's name? Until now, the lock has leaned into the wisdom of everyone's like for a WCW wrestler. tonight and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change I have no idea who I'm facing but it doesn't matter I am going to beat whoever it is and you will never 
ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. So The Lock is supposed to be my wrestler's name? Well, that's just dumb. What the fuck? Well, Sammy's big idea is about rechristening his titles. The Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard the lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, but if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here in WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against a veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight, so I'd actually give the advantage to the lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Yeah, I'd be shook too if a fat guy with a lock around his neck was coming here to fight me. <laughs> I should have realized the lock is what they were going to call my wrestler. So instead of focusing on making myself, I should have just made up some random person based on the lock gimmick. Oh well, too late now. What else do you need, God? Perform a reversal. That would require Sammy to actually hit me. In the corner you go, Sammy. How you doing, Sammy? Lock Sammy down with your finisher. Gladly. That's one way to knock out some of the momentum. You're welcome. God, I regret making myself me. Oh, you want to go again, Sammy? In you go. Champion, the lock. What a 
<laughs> All right then. So I am the lock. Fun. Five hours earlier. So do you have to do the men's story first? Can I just realize? I don't think this could have been a woman's story, right? There he is. Ready for your big raw debut tonight? Yeah. Can't wait to get out there. Good. We can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh. Talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep. Cat to the K, K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on the wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion. The Lock. Whoop, whoop. I hate it. Fly on the wall. <laughs> I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole the lock thing he hates it too I, can i just use the name i've used my entire career i mean that's how the rest of the world knows me yeah but that's not how the wwe universe knows you we can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this i think a lot of people have isn't that how wwe found me look this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. No, it's not. But doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? <laughs> no, Cat's right! This is a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that your office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just the nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity. What fucking pyro? They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you too. <laughs> Get it? A lock. Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process. And it'll all work out. So I guess the lock is the gimmick I'm starting with? The lock. And my story's gonna be revolving around me getting out of the lock angle? Kind of like Cody getting out of the stardust angle? Or who else got out of really stupid gimmicks? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. There's gotta be someone who also had a bad gimmick, made it work, and then became big, right? Whoa, what's, what's this? Real tr Travis WWE. Proud of the lock. No, we added him. Okay. I'm going to need to be faster if I want to read those. <laughs> week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey. I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn the camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. Who? I think whoever's watching will know who I am. Oh, I actually just don't. Just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion. Who? Two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway. Gabriel Slade. To to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay. I so guess this right? is an alternate universe. Since I didn't come up to the performance center, or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay, 
Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the raw welcoming committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. He's too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. I like that my character's not putting up with this crap. I actually do kind of like that my character's not happy about this. Sami Zayn has especially got no title for title for 65 days. How long will the locks reign last? Because it actually makes sense. Think about it. How many times has a YouTuber used their character for all of their stories? But it's like Ah, you, you, you're just doing this gimmick again, and again, and again. At least this way we can exp we can pretend all the other shit I did those past years was like in some alternate indie universe. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I'm explaining myself right. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, point is, it feels easier to believe that I'm not just doing this again, but that I... My career up until now was in the indies, I guess. This is the My Rise Hub. You can discover new story opportunities from here by talking to people in this hub or by replying to posts or direct messages on your social media feed. You'll notice icons as the superstars in the hub. These icons tell you whoever talking to them can launch you to a must play story. W. Optional story. Up. Or challenge match fist. If you want to go for the main path story quickly, you only need to focus on the must play stories. But I recommend to try to play all of the stories as they present new pathways and rewards that you wouldn't otherwise get. If you are ready to move on to the main story, entering the available story gate will accomplish this. However, once you enter a story gate, you will not be able to go back and play optional stories or challenge matches that you may have missed. So Sammy is the optional. Corey is a challenge, Fanny is a challenge, and Gabriel just exists. How do I go to my menu? Triangle. This is the MyRise Hub menu. In, a, in addition to using this menu to check your social media for storyline opportunities, so you can customize your look, entrances, and upgrade your attributes. Social media, story, attributes, options. And those are the edit things. Attributes. Yeah, I know how attributes work. Thank you. Alright, let's work on my grapples. My resilience. Okay, yeah. Social media provides another way to encourage and engage in stories. Social media posts appear in social media feed and direct messages appear in your DM inbox. You can also filter your SM and DM feeds by which posts lead directly to stories. So social media DMs are just comments in your superstar story but won't directly lead to a new story. Just like Superstars have been the hub, you'll notice the, the same must-play optional story gate next to various social media posts and direct messages. It's important to look around the hub and view your social media feed to find any story that needs to be played in order to advance the main path of your story. I've watched The Lock compete all over the world. Can't believe he's in WWE now. After an icy title win over Sami Zayn, I managed to change my handle at Lock for like... 
The lock secured an Intercon Hotel when it gets to the championship. That's the real deal. No one to be safe from the lock. Sorry, Sami Zayn. Couldn't resist. I thought I thought stealing Legends gimmick was my thing. <laughs> I guess that's a reference to me sounding like The Rock. Someone went digging through the WWE archives and found my old chain. Hashtag chain gang. Proud of the lock. Knew he had it in him. Thank you, Travis. As Vice President of Talent Relations, I'm totally supposed to be impartial. But the lock is the real deal. Glad I didn't go to WWE and have to come out as safe as the lock. Think I'll continue to dominate social media and wrestling everywhere else in the world instead. I thought that was Rey Mysterio. It is not. I have no clue who that is. Hey! My favorite... One of my favorite wrestlers! What do you have to say, Hurricane? In de my WWE TV debut, I, l I lost my gimmick, my name, my gimmick, my entrance, my entrance song, my finisher, and my WCW Cruiserweight Championship. All in one night! If I survive that, at KingD353 will be just fine. You know what? That's a good point, hey, Hurricane. Although... Personally, I like your gimmick, buddy. Looks like these won't lead to any stories either. Told you everything would work out if you trusted the process. Huh? Oh! My controller's dying. One sec, controller, I'll get to you. Okay. Problem is, my system's a bit away from me, so... Uh... Okay. Yeesh, my system's really far from me. It's gonna be awkward. Told you if it work out if you trust the process. Definitely happy with the result, but still not completely sold on the lock stuff. What if I at least get to do my own entrance from now on? That's fine, there's some legal stuff going on about the safe entrance anyway. I'm sure you'll hear more about it soon. Cool, I also decided to stick with the at King D353 instead of the at the lock WWE. Not sure if you or anyone in the office noticed. Yeah, we noticed. Intercontinental Champ! Not sure about all that lock bollocks, but I can't argue with the results. Thanks, Tavish. I don't know about either, but maybe it's just temporary. Proud of you. Wasn't that long ago you were sleeping on my couch in between working shows here for ten quid? You came a long way. Ah, so I'm British. Ugh, God. I now have two cords fighting over my shoulder. My controller cord that's charging, and... Ugh. The headphones cord. Hey, champ. Long time no see. You here to cash in on some more tips from a certified locker room vet? How do I get a match? How do I upgrade my skills? How do I get a tour bus? How do I get one of those tour buses that some superstars travel in? <laughs> uh, win a lot of matches and make a lot of money. But in the meantime, if you need a good rental rate on a mid-sized sedan, I got connections. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Any other questions or anything you'd like me to explain again? Nah, I'm good. Actually, I think I'm good for now. All right. Well, like I said, if you ever need advice, or even if you just forgot your flip-flops for the shower, I'm here for you. Got it. Thank you. You're gonna betray me, aren't you? All right, Fanny. What's up? You were my best friend the last run. Want to join my book club? I tried to recruit Robert Rude, but he said the only part of a book he likes is the ending. 
or as he called it, the book's finishing move. He said he's got the best ending in WWE, but I thought maybe you could take him on and show him yours? You want me to beat up Robert Roode because he wouldn't join your book club? Kind of bullshit. <laughs> That's not nonsense at all. I don't know why it took so long to skip the damn scene. This is where I like actually editing my stuff beforehand. I don't like doing stuff like mission, mission, mission military presses. Nor do I like doing headbutts. But I guess that's what happens when you rush yourself. Upsy Daisy. How's the view, Rude? I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that. From the middle rope. What a splash. Rude gets him back. Rude might be waking up now. Rude was being tested, but finally was able to get some offense of his own in. Match rude. A hero. He wrestled perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. This is what you get when you have complete confidence. All right, that's one challenge down in record time. Probably record time. I don't know. I haven't seen who's been speedrunning this game. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if that exists. Does anyone do WWE speedruns? Oh, we'll probably be doing nothing but submission holds, wouldn't it? So we have Pierce and Corey. Let's do Pierce. Welcome to Raw. I've got to say, I've been a fan of your work for a while. Can't say the same for Drew Gulag, though. I heard him mention your name in a rant about superstars who lack fundamentals. Fundamentals according to who, Drew? But if you ever want to put in a little extra super specific training before a show, you know who to ask. All right, beat up Drew Gulak. We'll make this quick. Knock Drew around with a light combo. 
So this really is a training match and not actually me killing him. At least it's supposed to be a training match, but I'm currently getting my ass kicked. I mean, I can't reversal him till he hits me, so, uh, get up. Wake up. Come on, buddy. Need to get the offensive on me. Ah, a dodge. I don't like those, but fine. No, I need to dodge. How do I dodge? Attempt to win the match. <laughs> In you go, Drew. Now this would be where I dive in at you, but I never gave myself my diving move, so... Oh god! Drew, how dare you dodge me! Can we talk about this, Drew? Good night. Cut it rough. I thought he'd kick out. I am so used to people kicking out of my finishers in Faction Wars mode. <laughs> then again, I keep using really weak characters in Faction Wars mode, so maybe that's why. Alright, so unless they keep refilling me, there should only be one challenge match left. Sammy... Corey. No, they just, just keep coming. All right. What's up, Kayla? I just interviewed Ludwig Kaiser, who said WWE matches aren't enough of a test. So he's now proposing a five out of nine falls match. Management hates the idea and would love it if someone could take him out in a two out of three falls match to shut him up. Interested? Uh, sure. <laughs> a five out of nine falls match. God damn. Are there any wrestlers that you think are good enough wrestlers that you'd watch them have a 5 out of 9 falls match? It's the future of WWE, The Lock. The Intercontinental Champion is taking on the German sensation Ludwig Kaiser in a 2 out of 3 falls battle of endurance tonight. You think that's endurance? I don't know if this was originally supposed to be a 5 out of 9 falls match. Well, then this is probably a good time to make sure we have overtime written into our contracts. <laughs> Yeah, Locke is 
Yeet! How you feeling, Kaiser? And down you go. Who said you could escape my ring? Who said you could escape escape my ring? Good night. Count it, ref. How you doing, buddy? You feeling better? Alright, who else do I need to decimate in a <laughs> side quest match? Alright, we're finally done to the last side quest match. Happy Corbin has been mouthing off about his football career more than usual lately. Saying the WWE grind is the same as non-stop two-a-days, which is why he's so well-equipped. <sighs> Give me a break. Take him on after a workout, showing you can compete after a two-a-day of your own. All right. We're just football shaming now, are we? Fine, I'll kill him. Also, Corey Klein, why are you annoyed by this? You're not even a wrestler. <laughs> Up you go. Down you go. 
in the corner with you. Count it, ref. Quick work. Alright, fine. We'll keep doing this the painful way, then. Yeet! Get up. Get down. Alright, now I've gotten all the training out of the way. Let's actually continue this proper story, shall we? Actually, I should probably upgrade. Fourteen points will increase our strikes. Oh, are you still some weird reactions to me um, beating people up? Saw so Happy Corbin looking less than happy and a little more disgruntled after his loss to you. Thanks. If anything, it's gonna make him talk to you more, you moron. Reports that WWE Brass is very pleased. We got on the other hand, uh, not so much. You cannot stop progress. My plans to j change weak or less wrestling, weak American wrestling will be fulfilled. Oops. Congrats on passing the Drew Gulak Academy of Ring Fundamentals. Your certificate should be arriving in the mail in six to eight weeks. Nice, that reminds me of the end of the Count of Monte Cresco. Ever read it? I know a great group to discuss it, so just l let me know if you want to join. Membership will double. Thanks, think about it, okay? Of course, she's the only fucking person in the. Ah, uh, Fanny! This is why Tetro never liked you! Alright, Sammy, what you got? to your neck don't get cute with me you know exactly what happened i had no idea who i was facing and as a result i lost suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe i am going to sue you for everything you're worth i'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that no i'm not thanks to you and your shenanigans but maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I can agree to these terms. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. What? First, you must face my hand-picked opponent, so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. Fair enough. This is a story confirmation prompt. It will give you relevant information in the story so the rewards gained and combined completion. You'll always have the option to confirm or back out a story for this prompt. 
If you decide to confirm, you will be locked to a story and can no longer take on other stories until you finish the current one. If you feel like you want to explore a little bit more or customize your super story, you can always select a decline story and come back later, as long as you've not passed a through a story gate. Oh, okay. Wait, so what do we- how do we know if it's a story gate? What? Where was the story gate? And apparently beating Sammy will get me his neck brace. Why? Why would I want his neck brace? I do not want Sammy Zane's neck brace. I don't care who I'm fighting. Just let me into the ring, please. Entrances mean nothing when you can't have music playing. Ridge Holland? Remember, I'm a super heavyweight, everybody. How you doing, Ridge the Fridge? Get in the corner. I'm gonna batter the fuck out of you. Oh, get back up. What happens now? Attempt to pin Dridge Holland. Guy who said you had my back. Help. Thank you. Why am I being pissy? I'm sorry, Gabriel. I just had a bad day. I got punched with my own chain. I almost got crushed by a safe. I I I'm just a little stressed. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least I hope I can apologize. Has the Gabriel sat up a face or a heel? How'd it feel to have your life flash before your eyes at King D353? Probably not great considering your life has been pathetic and worthless. Glad you're feeling better at Sami Zayn, but you and your goon show take me out when you had the chance. Now, you're gonna pay. You've done it now. You've gone and made a big mistake. 
not can allow you to think you can just walk away. <coughs> hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pound safe. I respect you wanting to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have you back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Oh, God damn it, really? Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not gonna cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Rich Holland. Fine. I guess we can team up for one night. Do you want to talk strategy or anything? I'll see you in the ring next week. Alright, I guess the game has decided that my character's a loner against my will. After facing Sami Zayn and Ridge next week on Raw, King D353 will get to choose how he defends the Ground Title Championship against Sami Zayn. Seriously? Why? The guy ambushes me and steals my talent, now he's calling the shots on how he gets to defend it? Might have, might have to look at the Priscilla Lear got actions this time against Shawn Michaels in WWE. Hashtag IC privilege, hashtag justice for Sammy. Get the f over yourself, Zayn. You know what, just for the sake of changing things up, let's let Slade get some action as well. Get his arm, Gabriel. I can't get an idea of what type of wrestler he is. Well, I know his finishers are both up, up person type things. Close. 
You wanna cheap shot me, Ridge? You wanna cheap shot me? Watch the lock. I'm going to assume Sammy's getting his ass kicked out there. What? Were you not waking me up? What? to catch up on you debuted on raw won the ic title almost got squashed by a half ton save but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in gabriel slade i appreciated the assist but i wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies okay let's not get hung up on semantics nonetheless Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sami? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Alright, let's see. Steel Cage. Ah, last man standing. God, yes. Sammy and I have been knocked down the last few weeks. But now, we're going to find out who's the last man standing. Nice. Really felt the passion there. Really? I felt like I was just phoning that in. You know, the irony of saying it felt like I just phoned that in. Oh, I'm holding my phone in my hand. Uh. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE. Going right into my match with Sammy, eh?
Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. What an atmosphere for the Box Premium Live Event debut. And what a matchup as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his biggest nemesis in WWE, Sami Zayn. Biggest nemesis in WWE? Who's the Lock's second biggest nemesis? Give me a break, Cole. The guy just got here like 10 minutes ago. Well, he's already made more of a mark in the ring in 10 minutes than you did in 10 years, Corey. And I expect him to make a few extra on the apron. Oh, it is a pay-per-view. I'm at day one. Okay. Trying to figure out how to lift them, but I didn't really read how to, so. Screw it, let's just look and see if we can find it. How do I lift people? R1 and move. So R1 and up. That's not right. There we go. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh man. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Able to get the advantage here. But Zane has to push now while the window is open. Start counting, Saxton. One, two, three. We could be here all day. Power. We. Rotating vertical suplex. How you doing, Zane? Feeling good. The match has started, buddy. You can't nap already. Come on, we're not done. We're not done. Oh God, he's back in it. Oh, is he waiting for it to count me? Just turned into South 
Swanson Street. And we see him take yet another shot to the body. That it, Sammy? That's all you got? Ah, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, fuck. Nope. We're not ending it like that. That's not how this is going. Now will be the time for everyone to clear out. He has got something destructive in his mind. Alright, Sammy. You're getting put down and you're gonna like it. It's a massacre out here. That table is broken. They are broken. As I thought. Here is your winner. And still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Hero D. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as long Sammy brought, briefly brought the fight to me, Mitvo. That's a good ass spot. Sammy getting his ass kicked all match. And then all of a sudden, just fucking. Sunset flip power bombing me into the announce table's edge. That would be a brutal spot in real life. It would actually it would look so realistic as a match too. Sammy's getting beaten and battered pillar to post, but pulling out death and shit like that to like get the smallest amount of time. So we got a main story and two side stories. And another side story. At King D Free Five Free, I'll never let you get away with this injustice. May not be today, or tomorrow, or next month, or even next year, but I will make you pay. Hashtag never forget. The Intercontinental Championship is safe with the lock at King D Free Five Free. Whoever wrote this is fired. <laughs> Call your telephones against Sami Zayn. Impressive. And you did it all by yourself. Stayed up to watch your big win. You really stuck it to Sami. Remember that time I was facing Cactus Jack back at WCW? Uh, Tavish? Sorry, I fell asleep. Like I said last night. Going to get some rest. Catch up later. Shawn Michaels. Nice W against Sami. You're really gaining some momentum now. But I have a big opportunity coming for you. Talk soon. Looks like I have another match in the indie. Let's do it. 
Congratulations on your new success in WWE, but we have been alerted by our legal team that you still have a one final mess of your, in your PWJ contract. I'm sort of busy here, if you haven't noticed, but that's probably exactly why you're reaching out now, isn't it? It won't hurt to have a big WWE star in our ring, but contracts are contracts. And one more thing, it'll be a tag team match, and you need to find your own partner. Can we count on you? I'll make it work. Who are you going to team with? Ask Gabriel Slade. I have someone in mind. Okay, let us know and we'll see you soon. Just a quick plus six to my points. Alright. This is going to be a short ass storyline. I'll probably make this the final match of the stream. happier to be in catering. What's on your mind? Can't get anything by you. I actually need to ask a pretty big favor. Lay it on me, partner. Easy on the partner talk, okay? Apparently I still have a tag match left on my old PWJ contract. Will you make the trip over and team up with me? Trust me, I really didn't want to ask you. You really know how to make a guy feel wanted. Nothing personal. I'm just... Not too big on asking for help. I get it, and I got you. I'm in. Right. I'll see you over there. All right. Just heard the news that King D three five three and not Gabriel Slater are coming to Japan for one last match. Sounds like the premise of a bad buddy cop movie that's about to bomb. Get your pop already at Chosen. No popcorn for me. I'll see you in the ring, fire. Alright, let's slaughter the Chosen and end the stream. As per usual, we're skipping entrances because no music equals no fun. Plus, I never actually edited my entrance. WWE, you don't actually think Japan shows are in these little ass auditoriums, right? Hey, I'm using my old gimmick! Hey, Paragon J. Pierce, long time no see. Fuck you. For any of you who aren't aware, Paragon J. Pierce was in the last game. And he's a complete asshat. Which is why I immediately wanted to punch him in the face. Let's, um, save my meter. Yeah, it's not because I don't want to kick your ass, Pierce. I really do, but... Do you have dives, buddy? Doesn't look like you do. I guess I should assume, yeah, you're a technical wrestler, it seems. <laughs> oh, my back. Or more accurately, my partner's back. Back to working the leg. Why am I working the leg? I don't fucking know, I just am.
We're breaking his legs. And his arms, apparently. I'm working over his everything. This is wrestling. This is- Ah, fuck my head. You did not just talk- Mother- Eep! The muscle is back, and the luchador is dead! Get over there, small fry! How you feeling? Look at you, giving it everything you got! This is the big time! This is the lock! Ooh! Small fry got fire in him! As dominant in the Indies as I am in WWE. God, this place is so low on budget, it doesn't even have money for my music. Come on, man. Okay. Yeah, I think I'll end things off here. I'm not especially tired, but I want to save the fun parts for at the beginning of the stream when there's more people active. Mm. Ah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream as much as I enjoyed making it for you all. If you enjoy my content and want to see more of it, you can find me at youtube.com slash kingd353. Again, that is youtube.com slash kingd353. When I'm not uploading redos of streams, I'm uploading episodes of Persona 5 Royal and Fire Emblem Free Hopes. Also, if you feel I deserve it, you can donate to me at buymeacoffee.com slash kingd353. 
Again, that's buymeacoffee.com slash kingd353. For as well as a dollar, you can join personal Discord. We can chat, play video games, share memes, and have ourselves a grand old time. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see all of you beautiful people later. Deuces, YouTube and Twitch.